Hey guys, what up? It's your boy Tommy with Tommy Ross Music. Thanks for stopping in once again. If you're new to the channel, please stop in the description and click in the link below to head to my website and download your first free guitar course on me. I've put together a collection of courses in my website, some merchandise, hardware, and even weekly and monthly private lessons that you can subscribe to virtually from your home. So to get into today's lesson, <clears throat> we're talking about Fleetwood Max Dreams. It's a great beginner or advanced lesson. The song, uh, you know, got really hot this year with uh, Dogface, the dude on the longboard with the cranberry juice, riding to work, right? And kind of revamped this classic. So that's kind of the gist of what you'll be learning today. It's not very complex. Uh, you'll need to know two chords and um, some basic minor pentatonic shapes. So to get right into it, um, it's an F major seven. Okay, with that seventh note in the F major scale ringing out. So it's that F major chord that you know, but it's not a bar chord. You can use your thumb or you can even, hard. Really, you're going to want to use your thumb and let that high E string ring out. So go ahead and strum that chord and then walk back on those top three strings, the high E, the B, and the G. And then do the same on the next chord, which is a G. And leave that high E string ringing open. So that's kind of how I set the vibe. I set the vibe for the verse. Then you're going to come in with this 5th fret high E string, then bend that 7th fret of that G string and land on that 7th fret of that D string, slide that up a whole step and back, and land on the 7th fret of the A string, then we're going to do that classic wrap it all up and land on the G. So that's going to be Use your ring finger to slide from the 5 to the 7 on the A string. Hit that index finger on the 5th fret of the D string. See that? And we're going to walk it back. By that I mean ring finger on the 7th fret of the D string. Sorry, 7th fret of the A string. Slide it back a whole step to the 5th fret on the index finger a whole step back on the third fret of the A string, and then ring finger is going to walk upwards or down in pitch. I say up because it's climbing up, right? So, okay, so start it up one more time, we got the high E, add a little vibrato to it, okay? So on that F chord, we've got an A note, okay? Okay, so then we go to that G. And what we're doing with that bend is we're technically just going up a whole step in pitch, going back a whole step pitch, jumping back a whole step in pitch to the index finger, and then landing on that seventh fret of the D string, but we do it with a bend rather than a slide. Okay, so here's the bend. And then we come to that. So one more time, 
that's going to be a ring finger on the 5th fret of the A string, slide it to the 7th, 5th fret of the D, 7th of the A, slide it back to the 5th of the A, jump to the index finger, 3rd fret of the A, and then jump to the ring finger on the low E string, 5th fret. So you land on that same note that you started this little diddle with. Now, if you don't have a loop pedal, there's a way you can play those that melody along with the chords. Now, you can't really hit that first note, this one, because your hand's going to be busy, okay? If you want to tap it. because my index is on it. I could bend it. Why is my index finger on that note naturally? F major 7, G. Look what happens. It's right there, so... string one more time. Three, five, three, one, two on the G string. Okay, so there's the chord. Second chord. Land back into the chord. Okay. So what did I do there? So the next line after the on the note, but we have to jump back to it because we play that A, or sorry, that G, okay, so it's F, first line, F, second note, second line, and just play the same ending to the, the first bit that I showed you. Your fingers are already there. Except for that second line, the little, the two to four, back to two, pull off on the G string, okay? So that's not right there. This is. Now we're going to have to jump to that G chord and jump back. Land on that F on time. Look at that, that little last line. It's built into the chords, right? Ready? Do my ring finger. One more time. Okay, so the next part is building up the chorus. playing the, if you look at the F chord and the G chord, you're just taking kind of the top half of that. So we're going to be playing the ring finger on the 3 of the D, middle finger on the 2 of the G, index finger on the 1 of the B. Chords. 
so I'll kind of set you up right here. It's the strum pattern is going to be this. It's going to go from the D, B, G, E. See that? D, B, G, E. So it does this string skip method. And then the string that it skipped, it jumps back to and then skips over the string that it just came from. So one more time, it's going to be, sorry, D, B, G, high E. Same thing, slide it up, same, slide the same shape of a whole step, just like that G to uh, F to G chord, and the same concept. But this is a little bit different. We're not going to play that, what I just played, sorry. It's going to be... So instead of going to hit that high E on this little, you don't hit the high E, you're going to hit the sixth fret of the B string. You're going to add that to this shape, okay? So that pinky is just going to come onto that sixth fret. change too. So let me show you where we're, what we've got so far. We've got the, okay, that's basic. Oh, we've added a little note there. We're going to add a note here on the third one. Okay, so this is one. This is the two. Here's the third one. We're going to add that pinky on the third fret of the high E string. We're going to add that G note. go back to the same thing we played the first time we played the top half of this G. Same thing, so open high E, 6th fret B string, 3rd fret high E string, 6th fret B string again, and restart now. Open high E, 6th fret B string, third fret high E, sixth fret B string. Now we go into the chorus and it's the same chords, but I, when I'm playing it, I like to kind of So I add a little rhythm to it to make it stand out from the little, you know, that ambient, ambient sound that uh, that kind of or a sound that we create in the beginning, you know, the... Okay. So to spice the chorus up after the... So after the chorus, we get into the solo. Uh, I think we have a, we go back into the verse, and then we go into a second um, second verse, and then we do a second uh, pre-chorus, and then we come onto the scene with the solo, right? So the solo, we're going to start on the 8th fret of the high E string, and then we're going to rock back and forth with our ring finger and index on the 10th and 8th of the B string. So 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 7 on the G, so 8 on the high E. 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 7 on the high, on the G string, sorry. Then we go back to 10, 8, 10, 8, 7, 5, 
seven on the D. So ten, eight on the B, seven on the G, five on the G, seven on the D. Okay, and I like to maybe add a little add a little bend or so you can add some flavor and then we start over. Sorry. Same thing. This time it changes. We play 10, 8, 5, 7 on the G. So 10, 8 on the B, 5, 7 on the G. It's opposite of what we played last time. We played 7, 5. Now we're playing 5, 7. And then jump up to that. Up, I mean in direction, not in pitch. Jump up to that 7th fret of the D string. And then we've got to wrap it up. It's the same eight, ten, eight, ten, eight. And then we play nine on the G and then ten on the D. Eight, ten, eight, nine, ten. Eight, ten, eight, nine, ten. So the whole thing is. Subscribe and ring the bell to know when I go live next. You guys rock. We'll see you next time.